Logging into Hike Central the first time via the control client requires a few extra steps. Most importantly, you should have already downloaded and installed the control client. If you haven't, do so now. And if you're not sure how, take a look at the video for downloading and installing control client for Hike Central. You can launch control client via the desktop icon but if for some reason you don't have one, you can go to your Windows Start menu and search for Hike Central. Under Hike Central, you should have the Hike Central Control Client as well as an uninstall. We'll go ahead and launch from the desktop. And now we see the initial login screen. First, we're going to need to input the IP address of the Hike Central server that we want to connect with. You'll also need to put in the communication port that it's set to if it's no longer at the default port of 80. Then you'll need to add your username and your password. As you see, you also have options for remembering your password and for enabling auto login. Let's go ahead and log in. At this point, I'm logged in to Control Client and I have access to all the different parts of the system for which I have permissions. When you're done working in Control Client, you can select the X in the upper right hand corner, then click on OK, and you will be logged out and exit the program. The next time we go to log in, things will be just a little bit different. This time we don't have to put in the server information because it's being remembered. We only need to input our password because I did not enable Remember Password. And once again, I'm logged in to Control Client. 